Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is my mini kit Monday leftover kit and layout share. I'm gonna try to go through this quickly as possible because I have a lot to share. I did make this kit a bit big. I think I was really easily influenced by Janet over at RTS Scrapbooking. If you saw any of her videos, the latest series that she had was this big mega kit that she worked from for her 100 photos project. Really fun stuff. If you haven't checked her out over on Patreon, she is a dollar a month for her subscription description. Super fun. Go watch it. I recommend it. Tons of stuff that you can learn from her. I'm going to start off with the stuff that I didn't use and I'm going to put this up because I have a black ink spray that I didn't notice that I already have and this one's worked really well thus far. So it's the Dilutions ink spray and the reason why I have this one and not a Heidi Swap one. I did have one previous but I realized that I think it just got old and this was smearing. The black ink was smearing and so I threw that Heidi Swap spray out and I didn't realize that I had this Dilutions illusion spray. So instead of opening this one, I'm going to go ahead and try and use this one up first before I come on to this stuff. I'm not really sure. I already opened it actually, but I'm not really sure if the grays or the blacks are as vibrant, but anyway, that's what I'm going to use. So I didn't use this at all. And that's what I'm starting off with. I'm going to try to move this over onto the next month. I did try using it. I don't know why it is that I can't. I really tried to make a point to use it. It just didn't work out for me and I think it's just because it's a new punch and I'm not used to working with some of these sprigs or florals or whatever but I really like it and I like the simplicity of it, the versatility of it, and the shape of it. I also want to look for something more delicate and in a smaller size but the same shape as this. So this is from EK Success and I found it on Amazon because I tried to get it <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get it at Joann's. My lovely friend Shannon sent all us mini Kit Monday girls a gift card and I had two punches in my cart and they both like I think a coupon came in and I was gonna use them and they I they got snatched right from my cart so I couldn't buy them but anyway I didn't use it this month and that's okay I didn't use any of these overlays or any of the Heidi Swap ghost letters or these letters I really like them I just didn't remember to I had too much and that's what I discovered in this kit is too much you think you can never have too much but it's okay to admit that <laughs> So for this kit, I had a bit much. I pulled out these two color doilies, which made sense in the color group. I just didn't ever find a use for them. I did find, I had also pulled white ones and I'll go through what I did use. I'm not gonna go through every single thing. I'm just kinda gonna go through them like this. This is stuff that I pulled out that I didn't use. And like I said, it was kind of overkill. I don't know how productive I was going to be during this month. I still have to teach the kids online learn. I don't teach them really. And I don't wanna say I babysit them either, but I do have to make sure that they do their work. And so I'm with them during e-learning week. So this is the stuff that I didn't use. Wood veneers, bows. I don't have a place to put all this stuff in. Flat stickers, flat stickers galore. I'm gonna set this aside. And I just noticed that throughout the whole time that I was doing layouts, I was very bogged down with the notion that I need to clean my room and reorganize and just, my room is a hot mess, y'all. I feel like I need, I need to do another one of those honest room tours. If you guys would like one and just kind of leave a comment down below. I didn't use these two chipboard sets. I did use the third one from Studio G. Only a couple and that's because of the sheer quantity, size, and volume of this kit. I didn't kill anything or finish up any products and that's okay with me. I didn't use up any of these washi tapes. I did end up using, where is it? No, I don't. Oh, there they are. Okay. And so th those will go back and then I didn't use any of the chipboard sets except for one. So all of these are gonna go back and I'm going to try and based on my observations, so like 10 chipboard sets or something, I didn't use any of those. So what I can foretell from this set is that I'm going to try to minimize, like really kind of hone it in and really try to make a mini kit, Monday kit for this next coming month. So you'll see one on the opposite scale where I hope it'll be just bare minimum. These are sets that I pulled out that are flat stickers. That 
that didn't get used. And then these are a couple of the chipboard sets. And then this is a thicker set that I didn't use. This came in some of the ephemera sets. I didn't use any of that. And that was all the stuff I didn't use. Now for the stuff that I did. I know that I used some of the twine. I know that I used most if not all of these color shine sets. I tried to use this one. I did use it, but it didn't work out in the color. I did use this butter, the gold, maybe the salmon. I don't think I even used this one this time. And then for sure the black one. So those are the inks that I did use. I did use several of these elements that I had as um, stuff that I pulled. I even have some cut aparts here left over. And actually some of this stuff is just stuff that I found around my desk too that I needed to put away. And so it all got chucked into this side of my little tray here. I did use about six or seven of these pieces of wood veneer. I used one flare up and I did use one of these um, handmade embellishments, little fringed eggs that I made after I saw a Paige Evans layout video that she did. She did a whole layout where she had like them going across like this and then she had her photograph. That's when I did those. That was like five years ago maybe? Three years ago? And I did mine with Project Life cards too. Some six by six scraps and I backed them on some Project Life cards. So if you ever feel like you need something that you can use Project Life cards for, embellishment starters or bases are a really good starting point for those if you're wanting to use them up. I also used quite a bit of my Nouveau drops. I'm like halfway down to this bottle and about a fourth of the way down for this one. I really tried to use this one since this one is a bit more used up. I had about 21 sheets I think in total that I had pulled. I think I used about 12. I did use the specialty paper and I'll show you that layout in a minute. Here are my paper scraps which feels pretty hefty. There was a lot of the cut apart sheets still left over in this and that's okay with me. So these are the scraps that were left over and this will just go back to the respective paper pads. I'll probably have an eight and a half by 11 bag because I have several of those and those scraps will just go in there. I really love this paper. That was one of my favorites. And then I like this ticket one too. This, <laughs> okay, so top two for sure. Those two were my absolute favorites of the of the mini kit Monday kit and then those are some scraps. I did end up using a six by eight paper pad as well and I know that I used three sheets from there which doesn't seem like much in the grand scheme of things but these are the papers that were left over and I'm just gonna fan them out like this. I probably could have used more but I didn't feel like I am a very fast scrapper. I wish I was but you know I enjoy my time scrapbooking too and I think that's what matters to me the most although when there are cases when I have to I know that I have time sensitive things that I want to finish. I need to get my butt on the ball about that. This is the chipboard set that I did use and I ended up using from the 12 by 12 chipboard sets. This is the only one I used and it was this butterfly. That's the only piece I used. So that's that. I'm glad that I used one up. Even if it was the one piece, I know that I used half of the 12 by 12 piece up of this. And then I know that I used ephemera from the set. This isn't all the ephemera, but this is how I have some of them. So this will just go in my binder. And then for tools, I used this mini alphabet punch board. It's one of my favorites. I think of all the punch boards. This one, the mini envelope, the regular envelope are the ones that I probably use the most that I know that I pick up. I've yet to try to pick up the library pocket one and I want to use that one. But this is a new punch also. I also picked this one up on Amazon and it's from EK Success. So those are tools I used. Hopefully I don't knock anything over right now. I am going to show you some of the embellishments. I used one of these foam stickers from the Scraptastic Kit Club. I used some of these phrases, enamel dots, three of these stickers, two from this set. I used this one and this lovely word. So I'm really excited about that. That's like seven pieces out eight. There's 12 more. So maybe in like 50 more layouts, I'll be done <laughs> with that. <laughs> I also used three sheets from the six by eight, a couple of pieces from this, some from this, one border from here, a lot of stickers this time. I seem to have focused on stickers. I'm glad I used some mini alphabets from this set and this one, this one, this one, especially this one because I don't know if you can tell, they're starting to lift, the, the glue starting to stick on the actual backer. So check your foam letters and I try to date them or I try to make sure of the date that they were made and then I try to make sure that I go for my old 
older ones. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do. I made some washi strips because I noticed that this washi is getting a bit old and it's starting to stick to the roll. So I made sure I did those and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to store those. I used two of these butterflies with the, it's like a velvet, but it's not velvet. I used one of these bows, used some ephemera, used one of these letters, used several of the photo corners, some of these puffy stickers, a doily or two, some of these Heidi Swap Resist ephemera pieces, some homemade photo corners I used as well, these two washies, some confetti, and another tool. This is one of my dies. I used that as well for one of my layouts. And that's all I used. Here are the other, I think I tried to save most of the paper strips of all the papers that I ended up using, either a little bit or a lot of bit of. I think I want to keep this one because that's cute with the cars. Everything else can go. I'm not too worried about keeping any of this. So that's going to go in recycling. And that's it. So I'm going to move this and then we're going to get to the layouts. Shouldn't have taken everything out just like that all willy nilly because now I got to find a space for it. And I'm trying to chuck it all back into the Totally Tiffany organizer. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, so here are my layouts for the month. I started off with, I don't even remember the order I made them now because I think I've shuffled them. But I think well, this one has a, a video. It's called Happy Easter Memories. And it's on the mini kit Monday playlist if you want to go back and look at my other videos. This one isn't on the mini kit Monday playlist, but it'll be coming out, I think, before this later out share video. This is based on a sketch by Caitlin Clary and there's a video for this one as well. This one, I have a lot of favorites this month. They, they were really fun to make. This one also has a video and this one is based on this sketch by Laura Whitaker and that has a video as well. This one is based on a scrapbook and cards today and that's this one. It's this one right here from the August 2018 page map. And then I have this double page layout. This one doesn't have a video. I don't think no, it does not. This one I just did for fun off camera and I like the way it came out. And then one more video or one more layout that I have. I just finished this yesterday and it really is fun. It was so much fun. I didn't do this on video and I kind of almost wish I did because it was super fun to make. I used Distress Oxide for this, 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 and this. This one was a watercolor paint and what I did was I wanted to bring these colors up from the stripe down this way but I copied these these colors and then I just brought them down to bring them into the layout and the finishing touch I want to do after these Nouveau drops dry is that I want to kind of stitch around the edge with some white I wanted to have some like gold clusters of thread but I couldn't find mine I must have misplaced it but yeah that's all my layouts this month thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch the other ladies in the mini kit Monday group and if it feels rushed I'm sorry but 12 12 minutes not bad <laughs> give me a thumbs up a like or comment down below which one was your favorite layout or which one you enjoyed watching maybe I'll try to replicate this layout if you guys have an opinion on that let me know down below oh this is where I used the mini alphabet punch board is these letters here. And I even used the little extra punch that they have here. If you insert the letter here, it gives you that little fun edge on the letters. This C was really hard to do because it doesn't fully fit into there. But the idea still works and that's the good part about it. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop yammering, yammering, yapping, whatever. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.